all right so we just saw a basic edit of videos now let's see how to add callouts in your videos all right so for callouts you just click on callouts here and you click on the drop down and you get uh, all these options of what callout to use now let's just see here in this video i'm showing the before and after of what i've done in editing so i'll just add the two arrows there now to resize it and stuff i can just click on that and resize it to however i want keep it there and it says fade in one second i'll make that half a second and fade out half a second now you can increase and decrease the size of the call out by dragging it you can make it longer or shorter it's up to you Alright, so let's see how it looks. So that's it, it's that simple. And you have a, a lot of callouts to choose from. And you can add multiple callouts in a video. It's not just one, you can add multiple at the same time as well. So let's just add another one. Uh, deselect this first. Go add another one. So as you can see right now, I've added two callouts, one on top of the other. Let's see how it looks. So that's it. So you can add how many ever callouts you want. There's no restriction. And let's just add another one here. So right now here you can see there are special callouts. You can add many callouts. You have a wide variety here. So let's just add another one. Let's uh, let's add the first one. <laughs> so here it blows out anything in the box. So let's just blow this full part out. Again, you have fade in, fade out times. If you don't want that, you can just add zero. And let's see how it looks. So adding callouts is really simple. Let's see, let's add another one quickly. All right, so this is how it's going to look. So I blurred out one, one part of the video and highlighted the other part. So that's how it is. But to see how it looks normally without the other caption, without the other call out is like this. It darkens the other part of the video and highlights only the part that you want. So now that we're done looking at call outs, let's look at the next option, which is zoom and pan.
all right so i'm going to add for zoom and pan you just click on that option there and uh, let's add some zoom So here you can see when you add zoom and pan, you get these two options here. That shows you the duration of your zoom and pan. And you can also increase the time it takes to zoom out and increase the time it takes to zoom in by just dragging, clicking and dragging. So let's see how it looks now. So you can see we've zoomed onto one part of the image or one part of the video and zoomed out. So this is really helpful when you make tutorials. Like just say in this video, I want to focus on the settings here. So what do I do? I add zoom and pan. And I'll zoom out here. So let's see how it looks. It zooms in there at your settings and it'll zoom out. So it's really easy, it's really simple to use. Like any part of the video, let's say you want to zoom into this, add your zoom, click here and drag. Now that's it. Go back, zoom out and drag back to position. That's it. So let's see how it looks again. That simple. So now let's look at adding transitions between videos or between two parts of a video. let's add it at the end so what I've done is I've added another clip right at the end this clip is taken from the library so to add a transition between two videos you just click transition here and you get all these options to add now if you want to know what it looks like just double click on one and it shows you how the effect will look So you can see you have many right now. Let's use the page turn. So what I have to do now, I need to get this transition between these two videos. So I'm going to click and drag and add it here. Now to increase the duration, you can see here, I can click on that and increase or decrease. So you can keep it to however you want and let's see how it looks now. It's again, it's that simple. This is why this software is one of the most popular ones because it makes life easy. So that time we added this intro, let's put a transition between the, between the intro and the main video.
and let's add it to the end of so I've just dragged it here and added it to the end of the intro video and let's see how it looks now if you want to add it here you can again drag and add it here that's the beginning of your video after the intro so let's see how it looks So that's how it is. Really simple. And you can add how many ever transitions you want between how many ever clips. It's all up to you. There's another effect there, so that's it. With transitions, it's really easy. Not much to explain even. It's just drag and drop, and that's it. So cursor effects. Now these cursor effects cannot be added on any video. You can add it only on the video that you've recorded using the Camtasia recorder because it'll add effects onto your mouse movement. Now let's see. Here, you can see my cursor moving around let's go into cursor effects add animation so I've clicked on add animation mouse cursor visible cursor size here notice my cursor here this is normal you can make it whatever you want. Let's, for tutorial sake, let's increase it. Let's double it. So it's two right now. Okay, it's 2.02. .02. Highlight effects. Highlight. You can see it's been highlighted. Left click rings. Shows you here. Let's look at it again. Right click. Ripple. So let's see how it works. Here you can see it's it added the rings and it's highlighted stuff. So that's how it works. Now this is what I've recorded, so I can do that. Let's you make the cursor normal again. You can see the cursor size has gone down, but the highlight is still there. You can make it a spotlight as well. That follows only your cursor. And magnify. So anywhere the cursor goes, It magnifies. You can see it's magnifying everything around the cursor. So this video is what I've recorded using Camtasia Recorder. And this video is just a video in the Camtasia library. So no cursor effects can be added here. As you can see when I click on this video and I click on cursor effects, it says select the cam rec or TREC recording on the timeline to enable cursor effects. So now in this video, if I produce this video and make it an MP4 or an AVI or whatever, and I import it back into Camtasia, I still won't be able to use cursor effects. It can be used only in Camrec or Trek files, nothing else. Now let's look at visual properties. What this does is you can add like an animation to either a video or to a callout. So 
So right now I've taken this intro video. What I'm going to do is I'm going to decrease the size and keep it, let's just say, here. So let's just say I'm going to add an animation right now to this video. I'm going to say add. Drag it out to the end of the video. That means whatever animation I'm going to add right now is going to start here at the beginning of this video, happen and end at the end of the video. So let's just rotate it. And let's drop a shadow. So let's just see how it looks right now. This is just an example, so you can do whatever you want. So you can see the full video here has been animated and it's got a shadow here because we've added the shadow. You can colorize it to whatever you want. There are many options here. Just play around and add anything. You can add a border. And you can remove a color. Now this is a good thing because this is like a green screen removal. As you can see right now, I've removed the red, which means now I've removed the brownish, which means every everywhere in the video where the brown is there, it goes and you can see what's there below that. So you can use this to edit your green screen videos as well. If you record yourself in front of a green screen, put the video here, select, you can select the video, select remove color, select color and remove, it's that simple. So that's it for visual properties. Oh, let's just uh, add a call out right now. And let's add an animation to this. So let's add it here. Add animation. Move it here. Let's play. So you can see how it looks now. I've added animation. I've kept it at one part of the screen. And I've dragged it and kept it on the other part of the screen. Now this will work only if you put, if you click on add animation. You can't just put a call out, add it in one place and then move to another. Because then finally when it's going to show, it's going to show up in the last place that you keep it. For example, I'm going to delete this. I'm going to delete that. And this is how it is. It'll just stay there. It won't move. So right click, delete. So next thing is voice narration. We look at that in the next bit of this.